Greetings, fellow gorehounds, and welcome back to a blood splattered vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And today we're going to talk about Speak No Evil, a Dutch slash Danish slash English language film. It's kind of in all three of those languages. European. Yeah, it's a European picture. It is a movie about a couple that go on vacation, meet another couple on vacation, and decide to spend a week at that other couple's house with their kids. Their kids and the other couple's kid. Yeah. And things get fucked up from there. It is a movie that you could describe as Gaslight the Movie. You watch as this couple stays with this other couple and progressively the vibes get weirder and weirder and weirder while the other couple gets more and more passive aggressive and yeah. manipulative. But the other couple doesn't want to make waves, so they don't call them out on it. But it just means it gets, gets worse and worse and worse. Yeah. There's this clear sort of like, oh, uh, somebody's got to say something. Yeah. Somebody's got to do something, and like that never happens. Yeah, and the entire time, the the evil family is like doing that thing where it's like, well, if you're gonna persecute us for the way we live, and no one's going like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge you. I gotta judge you. I gotta judge you hard, hard, it's like that, my dick. You know, like that. That on. need to not be confrontational. That need to uh, keep the peace. Yeah. That need to um, not be seen as the bad guy yourself. Yep. And to not make the waves that that cause struggles or, yeah. or conflict. Cause problems. Cause yeah. conflict. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, very early on, there's definitely a there's a moment where you're just sort of like, dude, if you're not just leaving now you're an idiot mm -hmm. there's like, multiple points oh like there's that. multiple points because you're like being polite is in this movie is more important than living you're basically watching as one family takes advantage of the other family all because the other family's father the the, the patriarch of the family is having a midlife crisis slash, slash crisis of masculinity and the other father is manipulating that yeah. To keep him around. And as long as he wants to be around, the rest of the family has to stay around. And so the dad never says no. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to say no, because the other guy makes him feel like a man. When he watches the other guy fondling his wife or whatever, he fucking is jealous of him and wants what he has because his life has gotten really boring and stale and, you know, normal, I guess. Yeah, yeah. He's like... It definitely one of those like beginning of Fight Club kind yeah, of lies. Yeah, that's exactly where he is. He's like, imagine the main character of Fight Club if he had started a family yeah. and was married and had a kid and was at that point. Yeah, yeah. And this guy is his uh, Tyler Durden. Yeah, even 100%. though they're not alternate personalities. Yeah, they're not alternate personalities, but like he's manipulating that aspect of him. And in some ways, he's even introducing some things that would actually help him. Like when he takes him out to go do scream therapy, where they just yeah. scream in the middle of nowhere. Like that's an actual thing that can help you work out some aggression and energy and shit going through you. But then he does shit like, I'm going to invite you out to dinner and offer you a chance to eat all this food that's local because the main characters are Danish, the other couple is Dutch, they're yeah. visiting the family's Dutch home. Then when the dinner is done, he basically uh, is like, oh, this bill is really expensive. Oh no, this is a lot, da, 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 da. And he hands the bill to the other guy and the other guy's like, am I paying for the bill? And he's like, oh, that's, that's so nice. That's, that's of so you. nice of you. And you can tell he just got manipulated into paying the yeah, bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, at that, that's the point where I'm just sort of like, well, get back here, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a great example of the kind of manipulation and gaslighting that happens in this entire environment. And it just gets progressively more fucked up as it goes on. Like the manipulations, the gaslighting, the the depths to which they are making the other family. And uh, the entire time you're watching it, it's super uncomfortable because you're just sitting there going like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You're watching characters do the bad decision and yeah. he knows the bad decision. But they just don't want to make waves. They don't want to fucking interrupt somebody. They don't want to fucking cause a fight. They don't want to fucking whatever and even when presented the opportunities to just walk away they don't for one reason or another yeah it's a tense watch it's a very tense watch this is not a gory fun ride this is a a tense grueling psychological experience yeah watching this. yeah it's really and, it, and it's really yeah, it says some fundamentally depressing things about people it does it does it's hard to talk about the movie without getting into the spoiler territory because like 
the strangers. The whole point of the movie is 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 given in a single line that happens near the end. I think it's time for us to move on to the spoilers. Yeah. Because yeah. it's hard to talk about the crux of the movie without spoiling huge chunks of it. Yeah. So. Although it, it is a very good movie. It's a great movie. This movie's fantastic. It's just a fucking hard movie to watch. Yeah. And it sits with you when it's over. Like I was fucking like having trouble sleeping. It was sitting with me so hard. <laughs> We watched this on Shudder, but I think it's available on other platforms. So anyway, let us move on to the spoilers. Okay, so the whole point of everything that's happening, near the end, guy asks, why are you doing this? Yeah. And the evil dad just basically goes, because you didn't stop me. Yeah. So I just kept going. Yeah. You never said no. You never walked away. Yeah. None of those. Yeah, and it's, even at the fucking end, they don't. Yeah, them just giving up. Yeah, exactly, it is. It is it, them giving up. They do this to families over and over again. It's very obvious they find their mark. Yeah. They find a family, they do this to the family, and then by the end of it, they kill whatever child they currently have and take the other family's child. Yep. And cut out its tongue. Speak no evil. Yep. This obviously culminates in their daughter getting her tongue cut out while the other kid that's around gets fucking drowned. And uh, after the kid's drowned and the daughter's tongue is taken out and they're just driven off to the middle of the fucking uh, rock quarry to be fucking killed, I'm pretty sure they just gave up at that point. Well, yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah, totally. The movie's kind of brilliant, is brilliant because the thing that keeps getting these people in trouble is things that aren't said. Yeah. You know, speak no evil. Yeah. Like, even at the very end, where it's just sort of like, or you could tell your wife, that guy just killed his own kid. I found it floating upside in the fucking pool. Yeah. We are out of here. If that guy shows up, I don't know what you should do, but definitely don't ask him for help. Yeah. Yeah. It's all those fucking elements of, like, quote unquote, polite society. And every single one of them is what leads to this ultimate culmination yes you know if he had just like told his wife something when he should have told her if he had just walked away when he was supposed to walk away if he had just said no when he should have said no no yeah you know if he had punched the guy when he should have punched the The guy guy. if he had done any of those things the outcome would have been way different but he doesn't and so his daughter gets her tongue cut out and ends up getting kidnapped by this other family and they get stoned to death in a fucking rock quarry yep it's brutal It's fucking messed up. It's hard and it sits with you and it's hard to watch the family constantly make the wrong decision because you know they're making the wrong decision, but you also know why they're making that decision. And that's what makes it rough because you're just like, no, it's it's that it's that instinct. It's that. uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't do that. Yeah. Be an asshole. I would have been out the minute the guy was like, oh, yeah, you can pick up the check. Bitch, you invited me out. Oh, absolutely. Well, to be real, I don't think you would have ended up in this scenario to begin with because the thing that the guy was preying upon, I don't think would have worked on you. Probably not. You know, it's like, hey, do you feel like enough of a man? Yes. You know what I think you should do? I think you need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. No, I I think I can comfortably say I wouldn't be the main character of this movie. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) It was kind of cool, like, reading about the director talking about, like, the writing of it because apparently he and his brother wrote the movie based on their experiences as kids because when they were kids, their family used to go on those kind of vacations and they would all constantly meet new people and their families would always become really friendly with that other family, but they barely know them and end up spending like weeks with yeah. these families that they don't know. And so as kids, they were always just like, well, what if this family turns out to be terrible? So they, they're evil. Yeah. So they wrote a movie around the concept of what would have happened if that went wrong. I ended up making a really fantastic fucking film that's a, a nice condemnation on uh, not speaking out when you should speak out, not not standing up for yourself when you need to stand up for yourself. And it's certainly yeah. not standing up for your loved ones when you should stand up for your loved ones. Yeah. Like, the thing is, is that the mom tries multiple times to do that, but because the dad keeps retaining the power, she keeps getting shut down. But even she has moments where she could have run away. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh yeah, but she didn't want to make waves with her with her own husband. So. Yeah, yeah, and even when they kind of when they have the confrontation, it's real like kind of half-assed mm-hmm. because there are times when they say something, but they still don't say the thing that needs to be said. Like one being like, you know what? I don't want to watch you beat your own kid in front of me. Mm-hmm. No, I'm out. I'm out of here. 
out of 5,000. You know, fuck you. Lose my number and uh, let me get, I'll go take a shit on your dog on the way out. I, I don't think people normally do that. Well, okay. Well, that's, <laughs> that might just be me. That might just be me. Also, I don't think they had a dog. So, like, you know, like, I, I'll find a random dog to shit yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking shit on this shit. It's a shit now. Now who's the asshole? <laughs> And be like, oh my god, this guy's psychotic. Like, the hell's wrong with yeah. that guy? Yeah. Damn. Get him out of here. He's weird. We just fucking kill people and cut children's tongues out. That guy's oh, got yeah. problems. <laughs> the, the, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Speak No Evil is a really good movie. Uh, I think you should watch it. I would put it in the same category as like Eden Lake. Yeah, yeah. It's that same category of just like the depths of human awfulness. Yeah. You have a nice, polite family dealing with an awful family. Yeah. And what happens, and things don't go well. Yeah, absolutely. It's good shit. Yeah. Anyway, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Well, you can find me on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter at Counting Jack. You can find me on Twitch at Count underscore Jackula. And you can find me on Instagram at Satanic Jackula. How about you? Y'all know me, I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Spider Cinema and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And with all that said, my fellow Gorehounds, hashtag you can walk away. Work that into your comment below. If you made it this far into the video, that way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the whole world knows you watch this video all the way through. And uh, this is the end of our recording session right now. And uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah.